Hello everyone, I am Dr. Divya Sharma, a dermatologist with special interest in trichology, pediatric dermatology and cosmetology and I have been practicing in area of Brookfield, Whitefield for the past few years. My center is located in C block of AECS layout. For this, let us know why do we get dandruff? Now, an oily scalp, you know, anything that increases the oil generation on your scalp causes an increased growth of an organism known as malassezia, which is a part of our body. It's a normal commensal. But when it increases more on the scalp, the body incites an inflammatory reaction, which is seen in form of flakes known as dandruff. So first and foremost, we have to keep the scalp free from oil at all times. So number two, we need to inculcate an anti-dandruff shampoo preferably something that contains ketoconazole, zinc pyrithione or selenium sulfide to keep malassezia level normal. Number three, it's equally important, especially if you're a gym goer or you wear a helmet, that you wash your scalp every day, preferably with a mild parabens and sulfate free shampoo so that at all given times, the milieu of the scalp is not oily to increase the growth of malassezia, which is the main cause for giving you dandruff. If the shampoos which are labeled as anti-dandruff shampoos are not enough, then it is time probably to consult your dermatologist for adding stay on ketoconazole lotion or certain anti-inflammatory therapies to calm down your scalp. Third and most important point is, whenever you use an anti-dandruff shampoo, make sure that you apply it all over the scalp and not much on hair. You keep it for a period of 3 to 5 minutes and do not forget to rinse thoroughly because these shampoos can also cause their own build up and they also make the hair very dry. I generally advise my patients to combine anti-dandruff shampoos with application of a good conditioner on the body of the hair because generally they leave the hair a bit dry and that may not be a quite encouraging thing for someone who suffers from it. So remember, dandruff is a long term issue and it requires continuous maintenance by the patient. Especially if you feel that the flakes are now coming onto the margins of the scalp or they're visible on the face, it's time to refer or go to your nearest dermatologist.